What's up, Fiend fam? I hope you're staying warm. If you're one of those lucky people that gets to live in a more temperate climate, know that I am extremely jealous. Since my riding has been sporadic due to ice and salt covered roads, for this video, I'm going to be reviewing my Climb K51 riding jeans. For motorcyclists, the parallels of protection and aesthetics are lines that railroad cross, especially if you're looking to do so at a reasonable cost. We want to do what we can to protect ourselves in the event of an accident, but we don't want to look like we're preparing for one. Unfortunately, this leads to some going for form over function, something that isn't advisable should the unfortunate happen. I myself purchased a pair of Tourmaster overpants in order to wear regular jeans underneath when I went riding, but they're too bulky and warm for anything above 60 degrees Fahrenheit. To me at least. That's where riding jeans come in, but like I stated earlier, most jeans, well, look like riding jeans. Well-defined armor areas that can protrude or odd stretch panels on the legs do not a good pair of jeans make, especially if you're someone like me who just prefers a standard relaxed fit pair of jeans. Enter the Climb K51 jeans. They're the best pair of riding jeans I've ever seen because they look like regular jeans. There aren't any crazy stitching or rivets and only one piece of branding, a tag on the rear waist just like you would find with any other pair of jeans. The heavy duty Cordura denim outside construction looks like any other pair of jeans. They come in a few shades of blue and one in black. I opted to go with black, but will probably buy blue next time. It has all the features of a regular pair of jeans that you'd expect like a YKK zipper, belt loops, and a standard five pocket design. Two in the front, one for coins, and two in the rear. As my advice for all gear goes, if you're lucky enough to be near a retail place that sells them, go try them on. They fit pretty true to size, but you do have the option of wearing a belt if needed. On the inside is where the real magic happens though. Climb has added reinforced DuPont Kevlar panels in the front and side from the waist down to the upper shin area. Unfortunately, the crotch and thighs aren't covered, but I personally think this was done for flexibility reasons, and I'm okay with that. On the back, you get Kevlar from the waist down to about mid-thigh. When I was looking at riding jeans, the climb were a little bit more expensive than others I was considering, namely the Scorpion XO Covert Ultras, but they already came with armor and extra expense on the Covert Ultras. Speaking of armor, the pieces that come with the 51 are first rate. It comes with D30 EVO armor in the hip and knee areas, as well as a Poron XRD Impact Foam Tailbone Protector. For those who may not know, the D30 EVO armor is a pliable armor that becomes rigid and protects the instant there's an impact. The great thing about the knee armor pockets is they are adjustable, making it easy for risers to fine tune the placement based on their body and specific bike. I'm not super enthusiastic about the foam tailbone protector, but I'd wager that only a very small percentage of riders ever impact their tailbone, and I can always buy a better piece if I feel the need. While not nearly as warm as my overpants are, the Kevlar lining makes for a jean that doesn't breathe as much as regular jeans would. I'm one of those people who's outside in the middle of winter snowstorm in shorts and sandals, so take what I say with a grain of salt. I'm a big fan of sweating over bleeding, so these are pretty good on almost any day. The worst case scenario, if you're feeling warm, is to simply just throttle it out. The only way I can see these getting uncomfortable is if you're stuck in bumper to bumper traffic with the sun beating down on you. And let's face it, at that point, even a regular pair of jeans wouldn't feel that comfy either. On the flip side of that, I wore them a lot in temps all the way down to the high 30s and they kept my lower half warm enough all by themselves. If you're anything like me, it doesn't matter what they look like or the features that they have, I want to know how they feel. I'm here to say that just like I've already said in this review, they pretty much feel like any regular pair of jeans. I mean, sure, you're going to notice that you're wearing jeans with armor in them. They do feel a hair bit heavier than regular jeans due to the armor and Kevlar. With that said, when I'm riding, I don't notice it. When I'm walking, I generally don't notice it either. It's mostly noticeable when I first get home for a ride, take off my jacket and boots, and sit down on the couch to run the ride back through my head. Even then, it's not too bad, it's just noticeable. Considering that you can don and doff these jeans just like any other pair, they make for a great commuter pair as well if you're so inclined. Coming in between $289 and $309, they definitely aren't cheap. 
but if you're someone who's serious about safety without wanting to look like you're serious about safety, these Climb 51 riding jeans are about as good as you'll find. They definitely get the fiend seal of approval. Okay, that'll do it for this video. If you're new here, I make weekly content. If you've liked this or any of my other videos, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, commenting, and sharing with your friends. It really helps out the channel, and I want to do as much as I can to give back to the community. For those that are returning, thank you so much. As always, stay shiny side up. Throttle fiend out.